welcome to another episode of Supreme Decisions and today I want to talk to you real quick about what happens if you enter a plea and then want to withdraw it. Well, it's something that has to be done prior to sentencing. A lot of times you don't have this luxury, but there are only two reasons that you can actually withdraw a plea. And the first is, you were not aware of the consequences of that plea. And that generally comes across when you have either a judge-only decision or you do a nolo contendere, which is basically you're accepting whatever the court is giving to you. Now, generally you're advised to do that when it's seeming to be a minor infraction. But you're at the mercy of the judge. So that will be one reason you can do a withdrawal of plea. Now, understanding, knowing that you pretty much start the process over again. So keep that in mind. And the second reason is the discovering of unexpected penalties of accepting such a plea. This happens when you agree with some someone or the prosecutor or whatever and then when it comes time for sentencing what was agreed upon has either been altered or has been left out or has been changed completely and this means you are allowed to re-establish what your plea is and basically what happened is the contract itself is voided because that is pretty much along the guidelines of a breach of contract so keep that in mind in order to withdraw a plea it was because one you didn't know the consequences of that plea and then two there was a change of agreement within your original plea so keep that in mind always stay strong i appreciate you guys we're going to keep coming strong for at least the next hundred days and i appreciate again all my donors Apple Pay, Venmo, Google Wallet, and Cash App. If you don't already have Cash App, hit the link in the description, download it, and then holla at your boy, and we both get paid. So, talk to you guys soon.